Oh, is that too bright? That's okay, I'm looking at you. <laughs> He's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Port here, and this with the low glow in Southwest. Fine news here with John Dodson. How's that for an introduction for you? John, you're home, man. You were born in this city, now you're fighting in it. What's oh, that like? Man, it's awesome because I get to sit there and do what I always wanted to do and showkease my skills to the fans across Albuquerque. Not just Albuquerque, but New Mexico in general. Showing everybody why the land enchantment is so enchanting by gracing my presence and knocking this dude out. They brought a gift to me so I could put somebody to sleep. What? Do you feel it's a gift? Oh, it's a gift to me because of the fact that this sport has done so much for me and I want to help out with it bringing to the well, bring the UFC here to Albuquerque. Bring this to New Mexico is one of the biggest things because of the fact that we don't have any real major sports. We don't have no football, no basketball. We don't have a professional soccer team. Come on now. We have Mexico in our name. <laughs> Now, you mentioned the fight here, it's, it's your training grounds too, it's, it's not just home, it's where you train, it's one of the benefits that you have here, the guys coming up here to Elevation with you, do you feel that you hold a huge advantage, not because of your skill, but because you're used to this climate? Uh, I'm used to it, I'm hoping that he has been, that he got acclimated to it, because of the fact that I want a good fight, I don't even care if he's sitting there trying to, and wants to badmouth me, I want a great fight because I want to showcase the true skills that I have, and I want to fight the best John Moronger out there. And, I don't know, you're now looking ahead, but let's look ahead. You and another guy who actually went to high school in Las Cruces, those Joseph Benavides are currently ranked number one. Yeah. What would that be like to have an Albuquerque versus Las Cruces fight here in the I state? Mean, I mean, I've been Sherry versus Silver right there. What? Aggies versus Lobos? I mean, can we get another cliche in this? I mean, we can do this any day of the week. I thought that was what was going to happen. I thought when they said Albuquerque was coming out, or the U.S. was coming to Albuquerque, I was like, me and Joseph are headlighted in a car. Flyweights are doing it all over again. Two knockout beasts doing this? Oh my god, they're just rewriting history and just making it explode. The world has just collided and there's apocalypse is coming. That's what I was thinking. The apocalypse just came onto Albuquerque. We're gonna fucking do this. We're gonna fuck it up. Yep, fuck it up. <laughs> Now, if you had a choice, obviously it'd probably be to fight Demetrius in a rematch for the championship. Or Joseph. Would it be Demetrius? Yeah, it would be Demetrius because, one, I hate having that sour taste in my mouth and losing to a guy that I know I should have beat. And that was one of those things that I know I will get another chance at and I'm going to hit him as hard as I can and not watch him fall down. I'm going to sit there and keep on jumping on until somebody breaks me off. I'm going to be a wild beast. It's a rabbit dog. It's a rower in my food until somebody has to shoot me or kill me. Essentially, now to, this, to stop me. The fight taking place at Tingley Coliseum. Guys like Bob Foster, the first ever world champion out of New Mexico. Johnny Tapia's fought there. Danny Romero. All these guys. What's that type of legacy that you're carrying here with combat sports mean to you? Uh, it means a lot because of the fact that we're still keeping that tradition of having nothing but these fighters coming out. We get nothing but great fights all the time. And everybody that wants to sit there and say that we don't have anything, this is this is our sport. Come out and show your support. Uh, hopefully you guys, I know you guys did it for them, so do it for us. What, what do you expect from the fans that night? I'm expecting the fans to be loud, rowdy, and I know that there's going to be a couple of fights in the stands, but please, hold the fighting to the minimum because that's my job, not yours. Any gaming that you've been doing lately? Oh, I've been playing Titan Falls, and I'm waiting, I'm waiting for, my, uh, for this fight to get over so I can, pick my, so I can pay, uh, focus all my attention on the watchdog. <laughs> no, no gaming ever during training game? Uh, not really because of the fact that I got to try to stay focused and I got to make sure I can keep my mind off, preoccupied on, on certain things rather than have being disorientated or being more aggressive for no, re for no real reason. Yeah. Finally, a message to the New Mexico fans in your uh, Moriarty fighting pintos out east. Oh, I love all you guys. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. I can't wait for to see, to see you guys in the crowds cheering my name. And one thing that I know we're going to do is rock the house. All right. Twitter. What's your Instagram? Instagram is John Dotson and make check me out. Same thing. Yep. Gamer. Gamer tag. Little gimmick. On PS on PS4 and Xbox. Alright, John Dodson, ladies and gentlemen, best of luck. <laughs>